one. Python's partial function is often used in key via a simple program is written to illustrate what a partial is. Two. These are the imports. The first one is here, so the print function will be treated the same in Python 2.7 and Python 3 versions. The important import is the next one, the partial function from the func tools module. 3. A simple function, calculate, is defined. It needs three parameters. Next we create four variables. The variable A points to the particular function. B is A, evaluated at a particular point. C is a partial function. C is evaluated, and the answer is in B. Next, we print the four variables. Four. Four variables. A and C, you get an address, so a permanent reference can be made. This will be seen to be important in key B. Also C becomes parameterless, as all parameters are inside the partial function. We can see that B and B are the same number. 5. The reason for the name, partial, is that you can create a function that sets some of the arguments. For example, if there was a function that required 10 or so parameters, it would make more sense to write partials if some of the parameters are fixed. 6. In key V, we use partial whenever we want to pass parameters, and we want to give a permanent reference for the callback. This is seen in the fact that this is really an address and not a value. We have to understand that, even though the name is partial, we do not have to actually give it a partial number of arguments. 7. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.